morning everybody welcome to day 27 of february vlogs it's well just after quarter past seven in the morning there are alarms going off everywhere i don't know if you can hear it we keep having power cuts so i don't know what's going on um it's not raining it's not stormy or anything but the power just keeps on going off and that's what all the alarms are i think it's people's houses house alarms going off so it's quite a noisy morning, really. I'm surprised everybody's still asleep in bed. <laughs> I've been up about an hour and a half. But I got up just before six this morning. So I've been up quite a while. And yeah, the dog's asleep at the side of me. Thank you to those of you that came to the live die last night. We had such a blast. We really did. It was such a lot of fun last night. Um, if you haven't seen the live die yet, we ended up, um, I picked some colours and put them behind my back and people were picking right and left and we ended up with four colours that in a million years I wouldn't have put together, which were black, brown, orange and red and oh, I've got to tell you everybody, it's looking amazing soon as it's dry enough for me to show you, I will, but oh, that one's looking amazing. I don't think the name Riot of Colour is right for it. Um, it needs a new name, but we'll discuss that when I show you. I'm just looking at my iPad then because I got a notification. <laughs> I told you I'm like a squirrel. I'm like, oh, what's that? <laughs> So, um, plans for today, I need to try and get Danny into the doctor's. He's got an infection in his nail bed, in his toe. So that needs looking at. I have a feeling he may need some antibiotics for that. So I'm going to start trying to get through there in about half an hour. Well, I'm going to go check his toe first. Sometimes it does clear up on its own. The weird thing is, with me and Danny, we always get something at the same time as each other. I had my toe thing the other, my toe, my tongue thing, and he started with his toe, which wasn't so bad then. But we always get something at the same time as each other. It's really weird. But no, I need to do that. I need to nip out to Tesco's, and then I need to start taking photographs today of the yarn that's currently dry. And start that process. I'm considering changing the belly bands. A couple of people have asked if we do smaller belly bands. Um, let me just show you this. This is a 50 gram skein. And this is what we have now. And we just put the band around the yarn. And put a label on the back. Um, but I know that some people like to tuck the when they've caked it up, tuck the information in. And when they're like this, you've kind of got to rip through the name. This is not making any sense. So a couple of people have asked if we do smaller belly bands and I've just always sort of said, oh, no, no. And then it got into my head the other day and I thought, actually, I might have a little play with some belly bands and possibly do that i used to when we first started dying do little cards and write the information on little cards and then just clip it on with a stitch marker i might actually have a play today and see um the only thing with that is it's storing the yarn when i we have like yarn boxes to put the yarn in these go in that does that belly band doesn't get damaged at all in the box but if you've got a piece of card sometimes it can get knocked about in the box i don't know i'm gonna have a think about it today and have a little play but i may do smaller belly bands we shall see so i need to do that today um i need to start getting the Things onto the website. We need to do that. The update is on Friday at seven o'clock. So I want to try and excuse me. I'm really sorry. I want to try and get ahead of the game a little bit, so I'm not rushing around on Friday. And that's everything I think so far. We've had a lovely weekend. It's been really nice. I've managed. Oh, that's what I need to do today. Yeah, I knew there was something else. I need to go to boys because I got both sleeves done of Danny's jumper. Um, but I've only got one ball of yarn left and I need another two for the back and then there's the collar. So I want to go and get three balls of yarn today for Danny's jumper. So I do need to do that. I need to go to boys. 
Yeah. So I'm going to have my coffee. I have a coffee here. Sit and chill for half an hour and then start my day. I think the dog's snoring. Can you hear the dog snoring? She's cuddling up. When we did the live die last night, I had this jumper on and I took it off because I was getting really warm and um, she came and snuggled next to it. So it's still there. <laughs> right, I'm going to go get started. into boys they only had two balls of the thank you darling of the yarn um never get my jump remember <laughs> i think i'll have enough with two balls i used just over two balls on the back but then obviously i've got the collar and that to do as well so i should have enough with two balls but she said they're getting a delivery at the end of the week anyway so it's enough to be getting on with. Will you stop whinging about your jumper? <laughs> I didn't. It took I didn't, you a while, didn't it? It, it took you a while. It hasn't taken me that long. It hasn't. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm agree with you. Goodness. You've got to chuck that two pence in that two pence machine, haven't you? You, you know, and everybody else. Head of watching the two peas drop. Like the old arcade machine. Oh, shoulders are in. Sorry. I'll come that side and I can get you in. <laughs> Shoulder's really painful today. Now she knows my pain. She knows my pain. <laughs> He's having to carry my bag for me. Let my go. Oh. Shoulder's really hurting. It's all that knitting on my jumper. That's it is. It is your jumper that's doing <laughs> it. I don't mind. I'm whinging, but I don't mind at all. 
That's all right. I think it's Monday, so you're fine. Yeah, Danny's convinced it's Monday today. Had a conversation with the lovely old lady about Mondays. He was Tuesdays, in boys. She was saying to him, "It's Tuesday," and he's going, "It's not. It's Monday." And she's like, "No, no, it's Tuesday." And I'm saying, "It's Tuesday," and he were adamant it was Monday. Oh, going over the train bridge, and then we're going to head into Tesco's. <sighs> Need ideas for tea. Neither of us know what we want. Want to make a curry? Not a curry, no. I've gone off chicken. Really don't like chicken at the moment. Do you want the bolognese? Happy warm. Yeah, I might have a bolognese. Joe bolognese sounds nice. Oh, right, I bet when the come back in the bits, that wind will be really loud. Can you take some photos? We have got quite a lot of yarn in there and there. So, quite a lot to be starting with. I'm printing out logo, belly bands. Um, I'm just going to do standard belly bands this time because I'm starting to run out of time. So, I'm going to get on with taking some pictures. I've got some decent light at the moment, so I'm hoping it's going to be okay. We'll Come on see. to show you this yarn. I talked about it this morning. Oh, my word. This is the one. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Oh, let me just put you on the tripod a minute. This is the one where the colours were black, brown, red and orange. And I can't skein it properly because it's not dry. So I'm just going to skein it a little bit. Just so you can see. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I can't wait till this is dry and I can show you properly. Oh, it, just look at the colours in there. It's beautiful. Um, It is half past three. I have mean, been, we've done, I'm just put this back, hang on. We've taken the pictures, Um, the majority of them is all done that took a while but yeah the majority of the pictures is taken we're just waiting for the live dye yarn to dry and then we've got the 50 gram pictures to take um danny's gonna cook tea tonight so so nice i don't have to do anything danny's gonna do it which is lovely and i forgot as well to show you earlier oops i've just spilled coffee did you see that just a little bit i bought that yarn that i was showing on the um vlog this morning from boys oh, I just love it the shade is FZB 13 uh, so if you pause it you can write down the shade it's beautiful it's all orange pinks and purple I can't wait to knit this up but it's going to go into my sock yarn stash because at the moment I am well I'm working on another sock design so that one's taking priority I only have three whips on the go um, a pair of socks, my wrap and Danny's cardigan, which I have worked on today, but I will talk about that more later. I just wanted to show you that yarn quickly. I'm a little bit late ending the vlog because I have just had to finish that book. I could not put it down. Oh my word, that was the, um, uh, it was called No One Saw A Thing. Who was it by? Oh, I can't see. It's got the tick over it. The book is called No One Saw A Thing. If you just type that into Kindle, it would come up. Oh, it was fantastic. I was talking about it on the vlog the other day. And it was absolutely brilliant. I have just sat and I've not moved until I finished it. I was like, nope, I am finishing this tonight. Oh, it was so good. It was so, so good. <sighs> so, um, it's six o'clock. <laughs> we have had tea, which was delicious. We had spaghetti bolognese and some chunky chips. It was lovely. Um, I did mean to say this morning, Danny did get some antibiotics from the doctors. His toe was infected. <laughs> bless him he'll be fine now he'll be absolutely fine now but yeah no he did get some blessing and shall we talk about progress on danny's cardigan would you like to say oh 
I have started the front today um, and I've got that much of the front done but I'm gonna have to take my time with it because it really is playing with my shoulder but I got the sleeves done at the weekend which I'm really pleased about but I am gonna say the yarn is lovely it's beautiful it's so soft and nice but the ball is a nightmare oh my word it's driving me nuts it's just constantly every time you pick it up it falls apart Um. It's really bad. When I was doing the sleeves, I did the sleeves two at a time. So I was constantly having this problem with both balls. It was taking so long to knit them because I was constantly winding the ball back up. So if you use this yarn, I would recommend putting it into a cake first. At this point, there's no point in me doing it. But yeah, so I'll show you the sleeves. Just so you know that I'm on it. Where's the other one? <coughs> so we have two sleeves as well. And you saw the back the other day, so you know that I've done that. But yeah, so I'd like this finished by the 21st of um, March because I will be doing the new Helen Stewart make-along. I've got a few colour palettes in mind but I'm not sure what I want to go for yet. I've got one with um, some pinks in it, which is really nice. And then I put together like an autumn palette, but you know me, I prefer, prefer pinks or brights or, so I haven't 100% decided what I'm gonna do yet for the color palette. The autumn palette is really, really nice and it looks beautiful, but me being me, I just like brighter colours or something with lots of speckles. I've tried to go for less less variegated yarn. Um I'd get I'd show you it now, but it's in my cabinet and I'm not moving everything off to get it out because I've put the yarn separately. Um so the palette that I've picked is some lovely, lovely pinks, but the autumn one looks really nice. But I just I don't know. I don't know. I'm still deciding. But yeah, I've got till the 21st of March to decide anyway. And there is progress on my wrap as well. I think it's at about 24 inches now. It's coming on lovely. It's nice, isn't it? So I've made good progress on things this weekend. I'm really pleased with what I've done. We had a lovely time with Harry. And then I've sat and done some knitting. I've got progress made. I've got a sharp bit on my nail which keeps catching on all my knitting. I've got progress made on everything that I needed to make progress on. So yeah, I'm feeling quite chuffed with my little self at the moment. Um, I took Josh to the opticians yesterday. He had his contact lens appointment. That went really, really well. So he's going on to a trial for contact lenses. We've just got, they've ordered his lenses. So now we've just got to wait till they're coming into stock and then he'll be able to try them out for a month. It went really well. They were really, really good. So I was impressed. And I got a lovely, oh, lovely package through the post on Saturday. Oh, I was absolutely blown away. I've got, hang on. I've got the yarn here, it was just here. So I got a lovely um, sign which says love is a four-legged four word it, and a paw print on it. It's absolutely beautiful. And I got some yarn and a couple of other little bits. So I am going to show you. One of the yarns that came is in my um, palette for the Helen Stewart. So one of them isn't here. But I got two of this one. This is Never Not Knitting. Isn't it beautiful? Um, the colourway is Pink Camouflage. Oh, I just so love it. And it's 100 grams, 75 superwash merino, 25 nylon and 420 metres. I got two. You will notice that one is already caked up. 
because I'm doing a shawl design with these two skeins of yarn. And then I got some minis, which I'm going to make a cowl out of. I'm quite strict on this because the colours together are amazing. So these are going to be a cowl. There's six minis there, aren't they beautiful? So I'm going to use those for a cowl. They're just gorgeous. So I was very spoiled at the weekend. They came from a lovely, lovely subscriber. It was so kind and thoughtful. Never Not Knitting is Australia. Um, because the lovely... Subs I don't think she'll mind me saying her name. It's Melanie. She's lovely. And it's just... She sent me some of this yarn before. And it is the softest yarn. I think this has got to be one of my favourite dyers in Australia. And I have I, I only know two or three of them. I don't know who the minis are from, actually. Let me have a look. One of them's got a ball band on. I don't know who that one is. But she sent me um, this one before. NNK, it stands for Never Not Knitting, and it is just beautiful yarn. Absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, she sent me this. I, it got here on Saturday and I was absolutely blown away. She was so thoughtful and kind. So I'm going to make something very special. I want to design a shawl in this yarn because it will just remind me of Melanie's lovely gift. So I got that. So I was very spoiled at the weekend. Um, I haven't started designing it yet. I've just got as far as winding the yarn up and then thought I'd better get on with Danny's, Danny's cardigan. So let me just... Oh, I'll pop that there. I'll pop it back in a minute. So, yeah, and that's about everything, I think. Um, tomorrow, we need to try and get more of the pictures done if we can. Even if I only get the 50 gram skeins done, I'll get those done tomorrow. Um, I've got knit group on Thursday. Nobody let me forget. <laughs> Can't believe I forgot knit group last week. I really am so shocked at myself. Um, but that's on Thursday. And then it's the end of the vlogs on Thursday, isn't it? Goodness, it is. Wow, that's gone. Do you know this month has gone really, really quick. And I do want to say a huge, huge thank you to all of you that have sent Kofi donations. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. Um, it's just so kind. It's not ever expected, but I do appreciate you buying me a coffee, in some cases, multiple coffees. So thank you so, so much. It's so kind. I've just, yeah, it's just lovely. So I am going to sit tonight. I am not going to download another book, although I will say this, although, right, I'll give you another book recommendation. Because I saw this in a supermarket again. Um, I'll read it out to you. It's called Night Watching or Night Watcher. Let me just... Is it Night... Uh... Night Watching. Right, I'll read you it. This sounds so good. So it's Night Watching by Tracy Sierra. It's a hardback book, so it's a little bit more pricey because um, it's only out in hardback at the moment. But are you ready for this? Home alone with her young children during a blizzard, a mother tucks her son back into bed in the middle of the night. She hears a noise. Old houses are always making some kind of noise. But this sound is disturbingly familiar. It's the tread of footsteps unusually heavy and slow coming up the stairs. She sees the figure of a man appear down the hallway, shrouded in the shadows. Terrified, she quietly wakes her children and hustles them into the oldest part of the house, a tiny secret room concealed behind a wall. There they hide as the man searches for them, trying to tempt the children out with promises and scare the mother into surrender. In the suffocating darkness, the mother struggles to remain calm, to plan, should she search for a weapon or attempt to escape, but then she can catches another glimpse of him, that face, that voice, and at once she knows her situation is even more dire than she feared. 
because she knows exactly who he is and what he wants. That sounds really good, right? So that is um, Night Watching by T Tracy Sierra. It looks really, really good. I saw that in a supermarket. So I'm not going to download that yet because I've only just finished my other book. <laughs> but yeah, so I think that is everything for today's vlog. I hope you've all had a wonderful day and I hope you all had a lovely weekend. It was lovely to come back today and catch back up and I will see you tomorrow for day 28. Bye everybody.